Hello everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. In the last episode, <laughs> I guess I can't get over this uh, running animation. <laughs> but in the last episode we continued with the fighter skill and we also did a uh, side quest or two here and there. And in this episode we are going to go and turn on that fighter skill quest. However, I had a very quick look on my list of quests and I think we do want to talk to these two guys. Uh, there's this... Oh, How yeah, may I help you? It's a new little wood elf and there's someone else uh, over there somewhere. So I think we do want to talk to these guys. So... Hello, please. Might you be of some assistance? My friend is lost and I'm very worried about him. Okay, well, tell you, tell me about your friend. Yes, my friend Endras Aurel and I were travelling through Vivek and he heard a strange animal sound nearby. He's sort of an amateur naturalist and he felt compelled to seek out what was making the noise. That was hours ago and I'm afraid something terrible has happened to him. If you could, help fi if you could find him and bring him back safely, I'd really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I'm really more of a scholar, is, is, as is he. That's why we were travelling together. A little safety in numbers, you know. Can you help? I'll try and find your friend. Thank you, oh thank you. Truly, I fear for his life. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> we're just looking for a... Search for Endras Oral. Okay. Well, so, because I, I think, wasn't there... Was it this way that was another guy standing around here somewhere? We've got these silly, silly worm things. I mean, are they the, the animal sounds? <laughs> They heard? I don't, I don't really know. I would assume not. I mean, they do make sounds, but they're not very notable. I don't think it was this way. I think it might have been the other direction. Yeah, because I think we were, we were walking over. Oh, look at this. This is the yeah Shrine of Canoe. Yeah, we did that. That was a long time ago. We're I mean, not really not really in terms of episode length, but I don't know. Everything in Morrowind takes so much. L oh, is it, it? Was it these guys? That, oh, God, I really hope I don't ruin anything by... <laughs> Killing these guys. I mean, is there anyone? Because sometimes they're like, "Hi, oh, oh, we have, a, oh, we have a book though." Oh, Kagouti mating habits. Oh, by oh, there we go. No, it's Kagouti mating habits by Endris Oral. Okay, well, we, there's only two pages, so we may as well read it. Observations made on wild Kagouti in south southeastern Morrowind. Kagouti do not seem to travel in large packs as previously believed. Perhaps they group into large packs when mating season is imminent. Females seem to be dominant sex. I think that should be to be the dominant sex. Males will bring gifts of food in exchange for mating advantage. Males sometimes attack... A, males sometimes attacked... Okay, attack what? <laughs> Loud vocalizations heard exchanged, believed to be from males, especially at night. Fascinating. Males do not seem to engage in physical confrontation for reproductive rights. Some posturing, but no conflict. All Kagauti displayed increased aggression during mating. Must be careful not to be seen. Maiden Kagauti found to be increasingly territorial. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, we found his book, but we haven't found him, which is not a great idea. I mean, I hope killing them didn't ruin it, but I mean, they attacked us. I'm not really sure what else we were going to do with that. Uh, there was, oh, wait, here we go. There, here he is. Yeah. Is there something yeah, I Andrew's can oral. do for you? Oh, thank heavens you found him. Found me. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't shown up. I've been trapped here by some Kagauti since my friend and I were separated. Yeah, I, I killed them a while ago, friend, but sure. <laughs> ah, you've met Thorinor. Yes, he and I became separated when I went off to investigate some sounds I heard. Of course, it turned out to be a pack of Kagauti that trapped me here. But I see you've taken care of them. Did you notice any distinctive sounds they may have made when you were battling them? You have the most fascinating vocalization. But enough of that for now. Shall we go back and meet Thorinor? Yeah, good, goodbye. <laughs> okay, so I guess, yeah, he's just following me now. Okay, well, yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully you can keep up, but yeah, you definitely cannot keep up with this. <laughs> oh, I will never go over that animation, never, never, ever. Yeah, these are, these are the Kigouti. I can't say I did notice any vocalization. I was uh, mainly just focused on killing them, to be honest. <laughs> look at these, look at this silly animation. We just like float through the air, it's so silly. Anyway, uh, Thor, Thor, Thorinir, or whatever your name is, I found. How do you do? Found your friend. I just wait a minute for him to catch up. Oh, your journal has been updated. That's unusual. Ah, you found my friend, Edras. Okay. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I'm afraid I don't have much to give you as a reward, but this amulet may help you in your travels. It's helped the two of us out a number of on, on a number of occasions. Oh, Amulet of Slow Falling has been added to your inventory. Oh, that's interesting. Amulet of Slow Falling. Slow fall 30 points for 10 seconds on self. Okay, I mean, I guess that... I guess you literally just fall slowly. <laughs> that would make sense, right? Okay, well, I'm glad you reunited, I guess. I mean, 
Sure, whatever. A rather underwhelming reunion there. Okay, well, I thought that was going to be two quests because there were two guys, but no, they were part of the same quest. But hey, that's fine. Let's head back to Balmora now. You can see I've uh, been all over the place there, uh, selling some stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, I love that. I love that we can do big jumps and run all over the place now. Like, look, look how fast we can get across Balmora now. It's so easy. We can just run anywhere. We can go wherever we want. <laughs> These boots are so crazy overpowered and kind of ridiculous, but I love them. Anyway, uh, we finished. We finished the fighter uh, skill quest. You bring good fortune with you. I do. Welcome. I sent you to investigate some orcs at a Daedric ruin. What have you found out, Warder? They are dead. Alof says the orcs are gone. Here's five hundred septums for the Duke's contract. Okay. Do you have any other uh, orders? A distinguished client has placed a contract on the Varethi Gang. Our client wants the leader of the Varethi Gang, Dovis Varethi, killed. The Varethi Gang are smugglers based in Manamu, just southeast of Pelagate. Kill Dovis Varethi and report back to me for 1,000 septums. Well, I like the idea of 1,000 septums. So, okay, so south southeast of Pelagate in in Manamu, that that rings a bell. We may have uh, walked past it before. Can I have an advancement while we're here? No. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I must I say, I find. Okay, well, let's uh, let's head to Pelagate. Uh, there's no need to. How do I how do I spell that? Pel, uh, Pele. I don't know how you spell that. Hang on. Uh, let's have a look at it on the map. How do I spell it? Pel Pel A Gate. I see. Oh, oh no, not not exit. I need the console, not exit. Uh, getting my buttons mixed up. Pele Pele. It's like Pel. Oh no, I. T Damn it. Pel. I th I cannot talk and type at the same time. Okay, there we go, Pelagian. Oh, okay, we've got a, whatever this is. A wild guar, as opposed to a, a tamed guar, I suppose. Okay, so we're at Pelagate, and now we need to go south, south, what did you say, southeast? <laughs> yes, southeast, oh my god, I'm so bad at direction. So south and east, this way, okay. And we're going to Ma Manamu, which is definitely ringing a bell. Oh, is this, is this it? I mean, that's a cave. So is this, yeah, I feel like we might have walked past this before, or at least heard this said before. Is this man on the- Yeah, it is, okay. Good well, hi! Uh, we're looking for- uh, I don't actually- <laughs> What's his goddamn name? Doverus Varethi. Are you? No, you're Enna. Okay, well, you know, if you're gonna attack me, then, uh, you're gonna get the sword, I'm afraid. You've got a whole lot of boats here, which is kind of interesting. Anything, like, underneath them? I feel like that'd be a good place to hide things, but... Doesn't look like it. You can't really get low to the ground in Norwind. Stupid! Stupid! Don't call me stupid. That's rude. You're stupid, not me. I'll take your stuff, though. Uh, you're not the man I'm looking for. I assume it's a man. I think so. I don't really pay attention. That easily. Oh, yeah. You won't beat me that easily. I think I will, actually. Oh, you're just coming at me with your fist? <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be... Uh, this, this really isn't much of a gang, to be honest. That's really lame. What earth does that sound? I don't know. And they've got all of these, all of the caves have like water sections and they're, Die. I don't know, it's just a whole load of them. Oh, you, you look like you might be important. Oh wow, you, oh no, okay, okay, you're not, you're not the man I'm looking for after all. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're in kind of an important looking place, but you weren't that important after all. Let's unlock your chest. Oh, I only got, only got four gold. Damn, you, you guys are terrible. <laughs> terrible, a terrible gang. I mean, come on, you, you've been... You got a bounty in your head and you don't even have anything interesting and you're weak as hell, but come on, first all for a bolt. Oh mysticism is gonna increase, nice. Got some gauntlets. I suppose it is this dungeon is quite close uh, to the beginning of the game. So it's probably a lower level dungeon. Ooh! <gasps> Ring of Vampire's Kiss, only worth eight gold. Are you joking me? <laughs> okay, well I'll take it anyway, because it sounds cool. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. I don't want the Dwarven Spear, but I will take everything else. A Grand Soul Gem, a Greater Soul Gem. Sick, anything else? Scroll of Ikashi's Lock Splitter. Okay, sure, I'll take it. Wow, more Grand Soul Gems. Oh, and a Skooma. Oh, a Skooma is worth actually quite a lot in this game. Uh, got anything? Silence Charm? Sure, I'll take it. 108 gold. Greater Soul Gem. Ooh, exclusive Restore Intelligence? Sure, sure. We don't really need... Ooh, Buddle... <laughs> Fuddle charm. <laughs> Damage attribute intelligence 1 to 20 points for 1 second untouched. Okay, so you can cast it and uh, damage other people's intelligence. <laughs> the fuddle charm, I like that. <laughs> so that's another block splitter and some gold. She's just taken all there, but 
No matter. Yeah, they've all, they've all got these like water areas in the cave, which is kind of interesting. I never really go down them, but hey, uh, where where was? Oh, you're just a rat. No, I, I'm looking for a specific person. You don't look like the person I'm looking for, to be honest. Are you? Nope. You're definitely not the person I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure it's a man, but I wasn't really paying attention to the pronouns that the uh, Adis used. Uh, we got anything? Yeah. See, I like being able to take all, but then there's always like one crappy piece of armor that I don't want, you know? Which is annoying. It's also quite annoying that you can't just uh, take the, uh, the the gold in one fell swoop. You have to like, you know, you have to choose whether or not you want to take just one piece of it, you know? It's like, yeah, of course, of course I want both pieces of gold, you know? Why would I want to just take one? Who, who would ever do that? <laughs> but anyway, let's keep... Keep going. Oh, okay. This looks like a. This looks like a big room. You. No oh yeah. You. You definitely look like the man I'm looking for. I mean, you're still weak as hell, but. Yeah, Doverus Ferethi. Okay. Dire Viper Blade. That is shit and worth nothing. I will take your lockpick and pick up your gold though. The Wolf Queen Book One. That's worth something. Oh look, look. See, so you've got some gold stacks on the, the table, I suppose. Yeah, honestly, this this gang is shit as hell. <laughs> okay, I suppose it is uh, near the beginning though. I guess that's why. Yeah, see, like, see, I want to take all, but it's got some, uh, like, random armor in here, which is ruining my opportunities to take all, you know? But I don't, I don't have to take that stuff, because then I've got to drop it. I suppose it, it may technically be more efficient to take all and then just drop the one thing you didn't want. Skooma, I'll take the skooma. I mean, I don't know, can we actually sell the skooma? I don't even know, because I feel like, because it, it's an illegal drug, so I think, because, you know, in Skyrim that's not really a thing. You can just sell skooma to anyone, although it's not even worth anything in Skyrim, really. Um, ooh, amulet of locking. You can lock an item. Why would you want to lock something? Crimson despair amulet, fortify willpower. Okay. More skooma. Yeah, because I mean, in Skyrim you can just sell skooma to anyone, I think. At the very least you try, you won't get arrested, but I feel like that's... Because I think in Oblivion you just can't sell it to normal merchants. They won't accept it. It's not even an option. It's like not an item they buy. But I don't know if you're actually gonna. I feel like you might get in trouble if you try that in Morrowind. I don't know. We're getting some pretty cool loot over here, though. So you know what? I will give them a little bit of credit, I suppose. Well, they're not not in those. They're <laughs> full of trash. Okay. Well, I think that is everything. So let's just get out of here, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, we could uh, we could go around and explore the waterways that were there, but eh, whatever. It's probably if there's anything, it'll just be one chest with some gold in it. So. We're not really missing anything, and if we are, well, I'll come back <laughs> at some point, so. Let's just get out of here. Oh, oh my god, look at how fast we run now. <laughs> this is crazy. I think, I, I mean, is it faster than what you can run, how fast you can run in Oblivion? I think so. Um, which, yeah, Oblivion is, like, ridiculously crazy. Uh, crazy fast, but, um, I mean, this is just, like, another level, I think. So, anyway, let's head back to Balmora. And... I think uh, I would like to drop off, because uh, we just picked up a whole load of soul gems, so I'd like to just drop those off in our house. Uh, we've officially run out of space in that chest, so I had to put some stuff in the, in the barrel upstairs, but hopefully I can still put some soul gems in here. No, the items will not fit. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> maybe if I... I don't know, maybe I'll take some of like the weapons and I'll put them upstairs so that then we can put the soul gems and stuff in this chest instead. That that works, I guess. Got some grand soul gems. Is there anything else I wanted to drop off? Um, hmm. We can drop off the amulet of slow fall. Okay, but apparently that won't even fit. Jeez. Nothing fits the funnel charm. <laughs> that really amuses me. Okay, let's go upstairs and just put some stuff in this crate, I suppose. And I'll put the amulet of slow fall. I don't know if that's unique or not, but... Whatever, I'll just store stuff in. Honestly, like, no one has enough gold to buy anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's definitely not unique, I think. Um, Crimson Despair Amulet? Nah. But I'm just gonna keep the Focal Charm just because I like that. Um, Ring of Vampire's Kiss, Silence Charm. Ah, I'll just sell all that stuff. And books are fine, I can sell those. Okay, I think we are good to go now. <laughs> Look how fast we run down these stairs, that's so ridiculous. I do love the boots though, it gives us a lot more freedom to uh, run all over the place. No one's watching you buddy, you're being paranoid, just go to bed, okay? Okay, let's head back to Idis and hopefully we'll get those 1,000 septums she promised us. Well, she better, she better give us her 1,000 septums. 
Tell me what's happening with that breathy gang. I will assume you've taken care of it. I have indeed. Good work, Ovelin. Here's the 1,000 septums from the contract. Okay, how about an advancement? No, okay. <laughs> uh, you got any more orders for me? Okay, but there is a dangerous creature loose in the Serrano tomb. A hunger has violated the Serrano tomb. Go to the tomb, which is over the hills southeast of Fort Moonmoth, between the Ashlands and Lake Amaya, and kill the hunger. Oh, a hunger! Oh, they're, um... That's in the uh, Shimmering uh, Isles DLC there. They're on the dementia side, right? I think so. So we need to go south... South something of <laughs> Fort Moonmoth, which is right over here, so... I'll head over to Fort Moonmoth and then I'll check exactly which direction we're meant to be going because as per usual, because it like, when I read things out loud, I'm focused on just reading rather than processing what it actually says. <laughs> Hence why it seems like I'm not really paying attention. I can, I can only do one at a time. Fort Moonmoth, it's southeast. Southeast, okay, so south, southeast. Here we go, okay. Well, this is where well, we've been down this path quite a few times. Over the last few episodes, but it looks like we're going down here again. So, I mean, where where do we go now? Like southeast, over the hills, southeast of Fort Moonmoth, between the Ashlands and Lake Amaya. Okay. Well, where's? Because I think this is the Ashlands. This like grey bit. That's where there's a a change in you know texture. So this is Lake Amaya, right? I think so. Between the Ashlands and Lake Amaya, so like I mean, like literally right here, it should be. Didn't we walk past a tomb before? Is it? Is this? Is there a tomb? I think there isn't. There a tomb down here somewhere? I swear there is. We walked past one before, I think, like a couple of episodes ago. But I'm not really sure. Is the one right over here? Maybe just behind, behind the behind the the mountains. I I don't know. <laughs> I think because there was the. Wait, wasn't there one in this, in the Foyada thing? Is this even called the Foyada? I don't know. Because we came down here to go to the, the cave before, right? And that's further down, but wasn't there a tomb before that? Or am I making that up? <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to go too far though. But then again, you know, Morrowind's direction giving is really not that great. Is it a little bit this way perhaps? No, that, that's where we came from, right? To Fort Moon Moth. Is there anything up here slightly? Oh, we've got uh, like a Dwemer something there, I think. Okay, well, oh yeah, that's the like the first one of the room we did, I think, isn't it? Ark Arkenthams or whatever it's called. Arkenthams. Honestly, all of the all of the names in Morrowind sound very similar to the Dwemer ruin names in Skyrim. Some of them do. Okay, well, I assume the tomb is around here somewhere. Then, like, what? <laughs> what's up this way? Okay, that's like the back of the Dwemer ruin, I guess. So I think it's. It's not over there, we've clearly been there recently, because there's a couple of... <laughs> dead cliff, yeah, we've clearly been all over here recently, because there's dead things all over the place. I mean, where is this tomb? I'm looking for the Serrano tomb. That's well, definitely ringing a bell, we've got a stupid cliff racer over there, and this is the lake, the Lake Amaya, so it must be, like, along this path somewhere? I would think, but I'm not, I'm not seeing a tomb, is there what? Oh, is there anything down here? Oh, uh, okay, I think that's a cave, though, not a tomb. Yeah, that's not the place we are looking for. Come on man, where, where's this tomb? Serrano tomb? It shouldn't be that hard to find, surely. Oh, we got someone... Oh, this is the lady before, right? Share your yeah. thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Okay, okay, was it near her actually? Is it like... Wasn't there a tomb... There was a tomb somewhere near her, I think. <laughs> I don't remember exactly where. I just... I always feel like I'm walking in circles with Morrowind. Yeah, see, like we're going too far now, you know, it should be like here-ish. But, like, I can't see a tube anywhere, so... <laughs> I don't know, if I can't find it in a minute I'll cut, but... Because, like, this is the Ashlands, and that's Lake Amaya, so it must be, like, right down here, surely. That, that makes sense, right? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, I'm not that clued up on all the different, like, areas of Vardenfell, because, you know, it's split into areas, like the... Azura's coast region and things like that. I don't know all the names. Kind of like Skyrim is split into nine holds. But I don't know what all of the areas are called or which, you know, which areas are labelled which areas, you know. <laughs> I don't know what counts as what. But, like, I mean, I'm not being stupid, right? That that makes sense for it to be, like, right here. I mean, maybe it's more... more this way? I, I don't know. Like, didn't, what, didn't we already go down here? 
<laughs> Where is this tomb, Matt? Yeah, like we came from here. Where's where's this tomb? I don't understand. Maybe it's closer to the the water? Because I mean that's the water, that's the cliff racer we saw before, so we are a tiny bit more left. Or or east, I suppose. Left is a relative term. Where is this tomb? I don't I feel like this shouldn't be that hard. I mean you know, usually the directions are kind of all right, as long as you know where the thing they're telling you to go from, go southeast of whatever, is, then you can find it fairly easily. But this is not where it seems to be, so I'm going to cut and find this tomb. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I got no clue where it is. Like, at all. Okay, I found it. It's right next to uh, these guys. Hello. We, uh, helped. I don't know if I can that, help Was that the beginning of this episode or last episode? I don't even know because I recorded these back to back. I think it was the beginning of this episode. But yeah, I found it. Uh, so yeah, it's right over here. But, it's, so it's here. It's north of the fields of Kamu. So, it, I mean, it is southeast of Moon Moth Legion 4. But I, it's more east than I thought it would be. You know, when, you know, when they say southeast, I usually think, like, here. You know, kind of like imagine like a bigger square around the square, you know what I mean? So this is kind of like, it, it's it's more east than I thought it would be, and it's definitely more east than south. Hence why I was confused. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's here, so let's head on inside and uh, kill this hunger that is apparently in here. Okay, we've got a, a skeleton first and foremost. Oh, I've got some uh, spooder webs. Uh, thankfully, oh my god, you know what the, my favourite thing about this game is? Uh, that there are no spiders. Oh my god, what the hell is that though? <laughs> What are you? You're like some sort of skeleton, like, hybrid or something? Oh, you've got a common soul gem though. Yeah, six bone meal. Oh, a bone lord. Oh, I see. It's like, like, multiple skeletons joined together. I really want to... <laughs> I mean, what's in here? Oh, a crimson despair amulet. Eh. Yeah, I mean, it's not even worth anything. Hey, a villain wouldn't steal from a tomb. He's not a grave robber. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, that's locked. Oh, well, we can't be having that. There's no, no one here to get, uh... Angry at just unlocking a tomb, right? We can, we can, oh, okay, this is the, is that the hunger? Yeah, oh, oh my god, I do not like that at all. That looks completely different to what it did in Oblivion. I mean, it's not even being hostile, which is weird, but I mean, it didn't even get a chance. Ew, look at, the... ew, I do not, ew, that creeps me out. I mean, it's weird that it's behind a locked door as well. Oh, Serrano Ebony Helm. Oh, that must be unique, right? That's named. It's worth 15k as well. <laughs> but I hate that I hate that you can like hear the bones whispering or something. I really don't like that. It's really creeps me. Oh, some gold. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't have taken that, but hey, whatever. Okay, well, we killed the hunger. Since we're here, we may as well just uh, clear out anything else that's here and see if there's anything else special since there was the helmet. So yeah, I guess it was locked because it's part of the quest. Perhaps maybe it would say needs a key if we... Hadn't activated the quest, I don't really know. Yeah, I hate the whispering sound. This is so creepy, I don't like it. Now look at this though, it's like a, a slightly bigger tomb than normal, which is interesting. Yeah, it's got these bone lords who... I don't really know what the, the lore behind them is. Maybe they were like, cursed or something? Book of... Oh, Book of Life and Service, okay. I guess that's important. I know that the Dunmer, they do have a very specific reverence to their ancestors. Uh, so yeah, their burial graves are obviously very important to them, hence why um, I don't think that a villain would steal. Um, well, he wouldn't steal at all, but especially not one of these. I will open the chest just to see what's in them, though. Yeah, nothing, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, anything in this one? Gives us some uh, target practice with our spell in here. Okay, well, that looks like everything. There's no other uh, entrances or anything, so let's head on out. And see, that's why we're not really going to do any other tombs, because, like, there's nothing in here. <laughs> You know, apart from like, because that one had a, a quest thing which had which had the unique helm, but yeah, most of them do not. So let's head back to Balmora and we can hand in this quest. I love how how fast we can run. Like, look at that jump! Oh my god! Which I mean, I think most of the jump, the height, comes from the speed that we have. You know, because you know, with enough speed, you can technically jump as high as you want. Technically, I suppose. You know, with enough, but you know, with the right speed and the right like jump off you can you know jump as far as you want i guess but anyway did you find time in your schedule to visit the serrano tomb yet um yeah i have it was uh, your directions weren't very accurate though you should have stated that it was more east than it because it was more east than you implied it was so um maybe get better at that but sure we, we have cleared out the hunger 
I'm sure the Serrano family is grateful. In the meantime, here's some more tangible gratitude. 1,000 septums. I do like 1,000 septums. Uh, I do like that very much. Can I have an advancement? Yes, we're now available in the Guardian. Okay, excellent. Uh, do you have any more orders for me? I don't have any more orders for you, Avelin. Try asking the guild stewards at Vex City, Sadrith Mora, or Ald Rune. Okay, so I think you that means she doesn't, have, time with me. uh, she doesn't have any challenge. more quests for us, like, period, I think. Yeah. Um, so, uh, why don't we head to Ald Rune, since that is uh, one of the easier towns to <laughs> navigate, and see if uh, Perseus Merseus has anything for us. Yeah, I remember his name. He has a memorable name. So, let's head on down to the guild. Look at how fast we are. <laughs> Is it, it just I like I know it's so silly like I'm still laughing over this but honestly it's hilarious. I'm uh, gonna go into the croissant building and see if Perseus has anything for us. I am here for orders, please. Okay, the only way to save the Fighters Guild from the corruption of the Kamana Tong is to get rid of Shoring Hardheart and those loyal to him. If you kill his chief supporters, Idis Fire Eye and Lord Bamal grow Aglak, I'll put my own life on the line and support you as the new guild master. Pardon? <laughs> it Okay, so the Kamonatong is like uh kind of like the Thieves Guild of Morrowind, but it's not like it's not the Thieves Guild because there's a separate Thieves Guild, but it's it's essentially like that kind of group. So they like steal and beat people up, but it's more thuggish than thievish or th thieving esque, you know what I mean? So that's what the Kamana Tong is. So you've got to kill his chief, but like, I just fire eye? <laughs> the girl we were literally just talking to and has been giving us the quest all this time? And like, isn't that illegal? So I'm pretty sure that's got to be like a sneaky operation, right? Like, do you, do you want to tell me more? <laughs> you can find her at the guild, yeah. I know where we can find her. And what about Lord Blum? Oh, is it Vivek? Okay. Oh, is he like the... Maybe the person who gives you the quest in Vivek? Because we haven't ever, ever talked to him before, so... You know, I assume we need to do the quests for them all before we go ahead and kill them. I mean, it's a quest, so we're gonna have to do it at some point, but... And it, like, Guildmaster? Like, what? why is this suddenly being brought up? I used to be the Guildmaster. That position now belongs to Shoran Hardheart. He's taken the Fighters Guild in some questionable directions. He's got too many followers in the high ranks, and I can't do much from here to keep the Fighters Guild honest. You can trust me, and you can trust Grundy in Sadrith Mora. He's not in Sorin's pocket yet. Oh, okay, so maybe there is a little bit of a quest line, I suppose? Okay. Well, I mean, that's interesting, but we're not- we can't kill them yet, because- Okay, well, I think we need to go and- yeah, because Sadrith Mora is the one with the Wolverine Hall. Uh, and the guy who told us to, um, you know, go and kill the thing that wasn't actually the thing, that was actually doing something else entirely, which is weird. Um, so, why don't we go to... Well, well, we'll go to Sadrith Mora, I suppose, since we've been there before and I know where I'm going. Rather than spending the rest of the episode running around for Vec and the many cantons trying to... Uh, uh, find find the Fighters Guild, because I don't even know where the Fighters Guild is in Vivek uh, and we'd have to go through all the cantons and I can't be bothered to do that right now. So, we'll see if we can get another quest from Sadrith Mora. Where, <laughs> like, where even is the hall? <laughs> I don't know my way around here yet, is it this way? I mean, you'd, you'd think you'd be able to see- oh, there we go, yeah. It's just the render distance in Morrowind is so, <laughs> so poor, you can only ever see like 20 feet in front of you, you know? So yeah, you'd think you'd be able to see the massive fort, but no, not unless you're right next to it, apparently. So, I hate this place you want as well. something, friend? so hard to get around, but I think the fighter skill is down, I think. I think the fighter skill is down, so if you go down, down here is... Yeah, there we go, the fighter skill is, is this man, right? Friendly. Ah, you yeah. bring good fortune with you. Welcome. Okay, I'm still kind of reeling like he wants us to kill people. <laughs> so... Okay, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll deal with that later, because, yeah, if, if the other guy is, in fact, the order giver, then we obviously need to make sure we've exhausted his quest before we kill him. Um, but, yeah, anyway, we'll get quests from Prindy for now. Hopefully he'll give us some. Yes, there we go. There's a creature loose in Berwyn, the trader's shop in Telmora. There's 200 septums for whoever takes care of this corpora stalker. There's also a contract for an outlaw nearby. 
another 200 receptions for whoever brings Tell's Rel's Tenim <laughs> to justice. Got my R's and T's mixed up there. Okay, he's given us like two quests in one. That's weird. Corporate Stalker. Go to tell Mora the Corporate Stalker was trapped in Berwin the Trader's shop last I heard. And what about Rel's Tenim? Rel's Tenim is a murderer who has escaped from justice. It was last seen near Voss. While you're taking care of the Corpus Stalker, you might want to see if you can track down Rel's Tenim. Oh, I see. So it's like a... Yeah, see, that that's smart quest design, you know, so you don't have to, like, walk all the way back. That's... Yeah, I see, I like that they did that. Obviously, it's not a problem for us because we're <laughs> teleporting, but that's, you know, kind of cheating. But, yeah, I'm glad they did that because that would be very annoying otherwise. Okay, so Voss, not to be confused with Vass, which is all the way up north. So we need to go to Telmora, I suppose, which we've already been to, I believe. So... Let's head on out of here, uh, back in here, and then. I only have a few moments. Uh, out. No. <laughs> out. Stay out of trouble. Is this out? Yeah. Okay. Here's out. Yeah. I get super confused in that place because uh, everything looks the same. Anyway, let's head to Telmora. Here we are, and we need to fight. Oh yeah, look, there's a topless lady over there. She topless, and no, she's crazy though, isn't she? So we need to find the trader's shop. Yeah, in the trader shop. Bow in the trader shop. So where where is that? Can we see a local map? Trader shop, trader shop. That's a smith, apothecary, Nona's house. Oh, Bow and Trader. Great, we're looking like straight at it. I assume it's this one. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll Yes, try. the trader. Okay. Well let's just go straight in, I suppose. Hi. Um, where's oh, well I hear something. Is there a corporate yeah, there's a corporate stalker up here. Hi. Oh look at that, it's like barricaded in. Oh that's clever. I, mean, I, don't, I still don't think I'd be, uh, you know, hanging out in here if I was her, but sure, whatever. Uh, while we're here, I'm actually, listening. Uh, can I sell some stuff to you? You're not... Oh, service... Oh, there we go. I'm not going to buy that skooma from you. Get rid of it and then we can trade. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what I was thinking, yeah. See, we're not allowed to uh, sell scoot. Yes, you know what? I think we actually do need to drop that um, or we might get in trouble if we speak to a guard, so... Let's just like run over, run over here, and we'll. Uh, oh no, <laughs> wrong buttons. Let's uh, drop the schooner. Where is the schooner? Uh, schooner. Though it's a shame because it's worth a lot. But yeah, we're not gonna be able to. I think we'll, we'll only be able to sell it to like these guild members or something. And obviously we're not part of that guild and never will be. So yeah. Okay. Well, look. How do I? How do I get back up? <laughs> okay. Here we go. What is this? Just like a drawing of a man? Oh, a clothier. I see. Is that even how you say it? I don't know. These are to tell, like, tell Barney villages are kind of difficult to get around, which is, well, that's actually the entire point, because <laughs> the tell Barney are very uh, stuck up and they don't like to uh, share with other people. Okay, can we can we get back in here, please? Will you talk to me now? Barter? Yeah, okay. She'll, she'll talk to me now. I'm pretty sure she's, she doesn't like me very much, but yeah, it is interesting that she, like, knows that we're carrying... Skooma, I suppose. Like, I don't know, is it like sticking out of my pocket? <laughs> Surely we'd keep that hidden, I don't know. But anyway, we, we've dropped it now, so it's not a problem. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, diamonds. Uh, just, I'll uh, give you some of this vampire dust, I suppose. Do you like vampire dust? <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. Oh, Interesting. Works for me. Okay, so we've killed, we've killed the, the, the thingy. And now we need to try and find this other guy. He said, you no. Know, oh, Voss. There we go. Okay, so it's this away so he should just be I assume on the road somewhere over here I uh, just gotta run around and see if we can find him I suppose he'd probably just be standing around like an idiot just like <laughs> all the NPCs do that seems to be the only thing NPCs will do they just kind of stand on the side of the road and wait for you to find them <laughs> oh are you the, are you the man I'm looking for I, I, I don't even know but you're attacking me so um I'm gonna kill you. You're not the man I'm looking for. What about you Die. guys? Oh, okay. I, I assume you look like bandits, not um. Oh no. Okay. I was gonna say you look like bandits, not Ashlanders. But I mean, there's no like Ashlander tents, so I don't think they're Ashlanders. But who knows, honestly. Okay, so I mean, we are like right on top of Vass or Boss. Wrong, wrong vowels. I think this is Boss, right? I don't. What, what even is Boss? I don't. I don't even know. Oh, acrobatics at 69. Nice. What is... I assume this is Voss, right? Yeah, Voss, Vero, Trade House. Like, what, what, why are we even here? I don't, I don't remember this location at all, but it said the the guy was seen near here, so... 
I guess just walk around, I suppose. I mean, he's, he's surely not going to be in the town, otherwise he'd be apprehended, right? So he's probably going to be on the road somewhere near here, I would assume. I hope he hasn't gone far. What is this? Boss. Oh, it's like a small city? Yes, Outlander. What okay. do you want? Yeah, I don't know. I've just like completely forgotten what boss is. <laughs> to be honest, though, I mean, we must have been here at some point, but... Yeah, I don't remember why or what for, what was here, but something must have been here. Uh, is there anything? I can't see anyone, really. Okay, we've got a, a mine of some sort here. Yeah, an egg mine. I mean, I'm not seeing not seeing any man hanging around. Whoa, whoa, whoa okay, we've got a scamp here. <laughs> which are uh, making their weirdly human noises, which I do not like at all. That's where we just were. So, I mean, I'm not, not seeing anyone, guys. Don't really know where this this guy is. Hopefully he hasn't gone too far. I can see some Nyx hounds and whatever the hell that is. Like, the, there's several creatures that look very similar. There's like the, the thing that starts with A, the Gua, the, the other things. Yeah, the Alits. There's, <laughs> there's a whole load of other things. But they, they look very similar. I'm not seeing this man though. I've got a stupid rat, which is such a waste of my time. Leave me alone. Honestly, the rats almost look out of place in Morrowind. <laughs> you know, like with all of the, you know, really alien you know, flora and fauna, it, like, and then there's just, just rats, just just standard, like, Cyrodiilian rats, they, they seem really out of place and very normal, I mean, like, they're so normal, they seem alien, you know, <laughs> just because everything else is so alien and weird, like, you don't see this kind of, you know, fauna anywhere else uh, in Tamriel, really, I mean, maybe in, like, Black, Black Marsh, I suppose, but no one can go in Black Marsh, but the Argonians, pretty much, you've got a whole load of Nyx hounds here, but I'm still not not seeing not seeing a man, not seeing a man at all. So I mean, what did the journal say? He was last seen in Voss. And bring him to justice. There was a reward for two hundred gold. I mean, is he is he actually in Voss? Like, I mean, I didn't think he would actually be in the town for sure. You know, if he's a wanted murderer, then, like, surely they'd uh, you know arrest him for that, but. I, d I don't know, maybe he's hiding, they don't know who he is. We've got some sort of camp down there, we'll leave them alone though, there's no need to, uh... Uh, there's an Ashlander tent, so there's no need to bother them. We're after a murderer, not an Ashlander, so... Yeah, let's head back to town, I suppose. And see if he's hanging around, the... Uh, what was his name? Rels Tenim, or Tels Renim? <laughs> I keep getting the, the R and the T mixed up, but... I'll know his name Do when I, I see it, you? so... May I help you? You're not the man I'm looking for. Oh, uh, we've got a, a farmhouse? I mean, is no, this? no one else, no one in there. No one, no one that we want, anyway. What is this? The chapel? I, mean, is it, I don't think he's going to be in the chapel, but... Yes, sir. Sure, we'll have a look around. I don't I mean, know where to begin. I suppose it's, it's a good place to hide, I suppose. That's locked. I mean, we are part of the temple, but... I don't know. I guess we're not allowed in here for some reason. We're not allowed in that specific door, anyway. Uh, we've got a farmhouse, farmhouse. Is that like a tavern? Just another farmhouse? Are these all farmhouses? Farmhouse? Yes, You're not the man I'm looking for. More farm- Yeah, know. wow, everyone's got like farmhouses in here. I guess it's like a farming town? Doesn't really look like a farming town, but... I don't know, what is a weird Telvani mushroom farm house, like farm town supposed to look like? I, I don't know. Right, more farmhouse, farmhouse. Okay, I mean... <laughs> I'm still, like, not seeing anyone i mean is there is there another part to the town that i'm not seeing we've got the you know all the different farmhouses and the the temple oh, or the God. chapel or whatever and there's and then there's the port over here go ahead outlander what do you need but i'm not go ahead outlander. i'm not seeing what do you need <laughs> not, i mean i guess there's this, this big building is he is he in the big building i think wasn't this locked though okay i guess the trade house isn't locked what can do I, you can I trade with you while I'm- oh no, you just do training. I mean, do you trade? Yeah, okay, well, I'll sell some stuff, I guess. Uh, excuse me, barter, thank you. What do you buy? Just, like, generic stuff? Okay, well, I've got some potions that you can have, I suppose. Uh, how much gold do you have? Yeah, 300. No one has any gold, man. <laughs> okay, I'll do. Thanks. Uh, you see the uh, Tells, Renin, Rels, Tenin, whatever? He's called, I don't know, got a trade house entrance. Anyone up here? I mean, surely this would be storage? Oh, I've got a rat in here, apparently. I mean, come on, guys. You don't want to, you know, clean out your storage? I guess not. Ooh, look at that. We've got some 
chest. I really wish you could see all, but I'd rather wouldn't do that, so. You no Hello. Smoke. I don't know if I can help you. Smokey but, Morph. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> that's a funny name, Smokey. Imagine that's like a like, that's like a dog name, you know? Imagine being called Smokey in real life. Are you like where is this man? I don't <laughs> I don't understand. Like I feel really stupid. Like he's not in the surrounding areas that I found and he's not like you're a, you're a girl, yes, and these are just the uh, just the, the port with the ships, so... Like, I don't even know. Well, I'll cut, I'll find him, and then I'll see him in a second. Okay, oh, so I don't know why I didn't think of this, but you just meant to ask a guard. <laughs> so, if we ask Rel's Tenim about him, well, we ask the guard about Rel's Tenim. Rel's Tenim is a thief and an outlaw. He's stolen from some of the farmers in Voss. Check with some of the local farmers, I'm sure they'll know something about him. So yeah, we just got to ask around, I don't know why I didn't think of that. But I just, I don't know, something by the way it was worded made me think he'd just be hanging around here and we just had to find and kill him. But no, we just need to ask about him. So I guess if you go into the farmhouses and ask, they'll have something to say. So, Rel's Tenim. He's a thief. Check with some of the farmers. Okay, are you are you not a farmer? <laughs> like, yeah, you're in a you're in a farmhouse, are you not the Man. farmer? Okay, well, what about you? Are you a farmer? Rel's, Rel's Tenim? Yeah, I, I know, I'm, I'm trying to ask the farmers, something... like, are these guys not farmers? Like, I don't understand. Oh, okay, Rel's Tenim, he's a bandit, he stole some guar and some crops, and I don't know what else. I don't know where he is now, but the Ahamusa might know. Check at the Ahamusa camp north of here. Okay, is that the, because we saw an Ashlander camp, didn't we? I mean, it's kind of the end of the episode, but sure. Like, I want to, you know, end on doing yeah, yeah. something. Oh, look, there, there's um, this as well. I, uh, yeah, I knew there was some the part of the town that I was missing. Okay, well, let's see if we can find these Ahamusa. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Um, Ashlanders, by the sound of it. We've got just more monsters. Uh, another mix hound down here. We, we had another mix hound. He's dead now. We just have his body. More of these uh, two-legged things that I always forget the name of. Yeah, there's the, the Alits, the Guars, the... The, the things that started with K that we found a whole diff load of different variations of. <laughs> ah, here we go. We got a. Whoa, whoa, what are these? Oh, yeah, we got these uh, people things. That's interesting. This looks like a. Oh, wow, this is like a big Ashlander camp. Okay. Hi. I. Oh, look at that. They got like a, a gua with a saddle and everything. Hi, can you. Can you help me? Like. <laughs> can you tell me. where Where's Rold's Tenon, please? Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Oh, come on. Come on, do not Do you not like me? <laughs> okay, I mean, let's just give her a thousand gold. Does that work? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, 87. Sure, you like me now, right? T please tell me. <laughs> okay, there we go. A man went to the cavern of Shalit on a small island southwest of Ald Daedroth. He left at night when neither Massa nor Secunda could be seen. Perhaps this is the man you seek. To get there, cross the water to the first island north of camp. From that island, travel northwest to two more islands. On the second island's north side, the entrance to Shallot will be found at the water's edge in a small cove. Jesus, that's a lot of directions. <laughs> First island north of camp and then northwest. Okay. Well, there we go. I thought I thought this was going to be so easy. It was just going to be like standing around. But no, apparently it's uh, bigger than that. So I kind of just going to make sure we activated this location. It's an actual location. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. That means we can come back. Oh, look at this. Got like a cool little tunnel. This is a nice little camp you have set up, and these guys aren't hostile. Like, I don't know why some of the Ashlander ho like Ashlanders are hostile and some of them aren't, but I don't know, because they're like, uh, you know, they, they kind of live by their own laws. They don't worship the tribunal. Um, so they are a bit different to, like, the cities, but I don't know why some of them are hostile and, like, because some of them act like bandits, but some of them are just chill and, like, normal people, so... I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I will uh, make my way to that island <laughs> uh, in between episodes so we don't have to waste any more time on this quest. But for now, we're going to leave this episode here, so I hope you have enjoyed. Like it if you have, subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you in the next episode.